Welcome back or welcome to my channel. I'm actually participating in my first ever booktube readathon thing. If you don't know what a readathon is, it's like somebody builds a game for you based on books and usually like groups of people will do this together we make a discord everybody joins the discord and you pick teams and the team to win the most books like wins the game it's all just to motivate you to read more and maybe get out of your comfort zone when it comes to reading i did a readathon like two years ago on book talk and it was a dungeons and dragons inspired readathon i'm joining the black cat carnival readathon I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Let me check the Discord. Oh no, it's called Escape the Readathon, and the Black Cat Carnival is where we're trapped. So this whole readathon has a backstory and competitive team-based readathon where the goal is to be the one team to complete games throughout this carnival to escape. To escape, you have to collect enough tickets by winning games. Each game has an unknown amount of tickets that you get when you win. You have decided to go to the traveling carnival that is in town, the Black Cat Carnival. This is a carnival where there's more than meets the eye anything can happen and you really need to stay on your toes. I don't know what I did with the lighting but it looks so good or is it just because my hair is black? So we're gonna go over my May TBR slash readathon picks because it's in May so. <laughs> also my birthday is May 4th. For the good fortune fortune teller house in this carnival which is supposed to be the favorite most read genre. For me it's romance fantasy. Romantic. I picked The Honey Witch. I honestly have no idea what it's about. I have the arc and I, I'm i pretty sure I read the synopsis so long ago, but I do not remember what it's about. So I'm going in not knowing anything about this one. At the Unfair Wheel, which is an anticipated read or top of my TBR, I'm going with Zodiac Academy, Restless Stars, which I'm already 10% into, but this book is like a thousand pages. So I'll be reading it way into May. It's the final Zodiac Academy book. You guys have been here since I read the very first one. We've read like 11, 12 of them. I know it's that, I know it's Zodiac Academy 9, but there's like so many novels in between. I, I am sucked into this world. It is the, the series that I have spent the most time in. And I feel like there's gonna be a spinoff after this. So it's like, it's not really over, is it? You know? At the food court, we choose a popcorn read. I'm going with Gone Girl. By Gillian Flynn. I've never read Gone Girl. I've never watched the movie. I don't know what it's about and I think that would be exciting. At the Cutthroat Circus, which it has to match a team leader's thumbnail, I went with Foxglove by Adeline Grace matching this thumbnail from Wicked Read. I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be my own team leader or a different team leader. I know. It matches her pink hair. That's all that matters. Oh, I never said what team I was on. I'm in the film crew team. If you guys want to join, it's still available to join. Foxglove by Adeline Grace, which is the second book to Belladonna, and it is like a spooky ghost fantasy romance. I don't know. She sees ghosts. She talks to ghosts. So for Horsing Around, aka Intimidating Read, I'm going with An Education in Malice by S.T. Gibson. At the Bullseye Battle, which is a new-to-you author, I'm going with Funny by Mona Award. Awad? Yeah, Awad. For No Strings Attached, Friends Recommendation, I'm going with a book that I honestly never thought I would read. From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I... I don't know. I don't know. For A Hard Hitter, which is a five-star prediction, I'm going with Gallant by V.E. Schwab. I love anything V.E. Schwab writes, but also this is more like middle grade and it's like spooky so i'm interested to see and for the fun house poll pick i let everyone vote on instagram and let's see where my votes are at the winner winner chicken dinner that's my may tbr that's everything i'm reading for the readathon hopefully and within all those categories there's extra games and challenges and other books that i can read so we'll see where may takes us this seems really fun a really fun way to get out of a reading slump a really fun way to like get the tbr moving you know because the team depends on you to escape the spooky carnival thanks for watching my videos they be the i love you peace